When we go into a relationship, we can be very ill-equipped to handle the challenges that crop up. So here are three things that I did not know in my 20s and only realized later in my 30s that I hope can help you. Number one, giving the silent treatment is only going to make yourself feel worse. When we feel upset, it can be almost instinctive to give our partner the silent treatment and a cold shoulder because it's our signal to them that we're not happy and that they better do something about it. However, this signal is actually not going to help them understand us or why we're upset because the only way to do that is to communicate and the silent treatment is the opposite of talking. The silent treatment can feel satisfying at the start, but after a while, it just gets really draining and tiring because it takes a lot of focus and energy to keep that wall up. And after a while, you forget that you're upset and you just want to talk, but you cannot because you're supposed to be upset. So we end up self-sabotaging because it's hard to give the silent treatment and be genuinely happy at the same time. Number two, your love language has a lot to do with your conditioning. When someone loves us, it's easy to assume that they would also know what makes us feel loved. However, what makes us feel loved is actually very specific to our conditioning. For example, it can be as simple as watching your dad buy your mom flowers as you were growing up. So even though now as an adult, you don't particularly have a strong desire for flowers, you may still feel unloved if your partner does not buy you flowers. Our definition of love is very strongly influenced by our environment and our experiences. So even if someone loves us, they may not know how to give us what we want or need. And even if we tell them, they may not agree because they have a different conditioning. It's never as simple as, if you love me, you'll do this, or if you can't, you'll know that. And if we can acknowledge this, then we'll take it less personally when our partner doesn't do what we think is common sense to show their love, and we'll be less hurt and less angry. And that will make communication much better. Number three, being angry is not an effective way to get your partner to realize something. Our objective is for our partner to love us and understand us. But when we use anger as a tool to get what we want, our partner usually ends up resenting us and then understanding us less. This is because nobody is truly happy to do something because someone is angry at them. So our partner will end up giving us what we want because they're afraid of the consequences. And that fear of us will rival their love for us and that will eat and eat away at the relationship. If we want our partner to understand that their actions have hurt us, it is much more effective for us to verbalize the reasons why we are hurt as opposed to needing them to admit that they are wrong as proof that they care. They already care. If not, you would have left them long ago. They just need to learn how to care for you in a way that you need. And the most effective way to do that is not through anger and fear, but through you verbalizing without expectations. We can put in a lot of work into our relationship, but the method of which we do it, it's also really important so that we're helping bring our relationship to a happier and more loving place instead of a place with resentment and unhappiness. Always remember that your primary objective of being in a relationship is to be happy, always.